hey you guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you guys how i got this um abstract baby hairs installation look <laughs> um if you want to see how i got this look then please keep on watching but before i jump into this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post and leave all your comments down below and that's all period hey you guys so right now i'm just showing you guys how the hair came um and literally just i literally just took it out of the box it was pre-plugged um and it was curled like this but i ended up washing out the curls um but as for the hair the hair is from slate queen hair yeah i think that's the name of the company so sick slay queen hair and they sent me um their loose sorry they sent me their loose wave in 24 inches and this is a transparent lace <clears throat> so they sent me their loose wave in 24 inches um in a transparent lace so right now i am just going to be showing you guys um how i got the look and whatnot but before I go any further, I want to thank Stay Queen here for sending me this wig. I was in love with the wig. I listen when I get hair from a company and it's already pre plucked, I don't really have to do any much plucking. I'm always here for that. And the wig was pretty much pre plucked, as you can see um, in the beginning of this video. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I got this look. Okay, so basically all I did was pretty much in did my ball cap method the same way I'm always doing my ball cap method if you want an in-depth ball cap method um, video let me know and I will definitely do one but I do have some on my channel if you want I'll, I'll I can also link that on the screen or somewhere um, so I just did the ball cap method used my foundation to prep the hair so pretty much put the foundation on the wig cap and on the cap on the wig itself um, and then I went in with the glue to kind of melt it down a bit so it's the stocking cap it's flat flat now all I'm doing right here is just measuring the hair the wig on my head so basically cutting what needs to be cut off making sure that it will cover the entire stocking cap <clears throat> and just making sure it fits properly and there's no shortage of lace or excess excessive amount of lace so that's all i'm doing right now just measuring the lace so the lace did come pre-plucked so there's no need to really pluck anything i was just like i went over it like a little bit but didn't know much to be honest like it was whatever i didn't need to do that um so right now i am just cutting the tabs i didn't even know why i bothered cutting the hair the like the lace in sections because i ended up just doing putting the glue on the entire head so i don't know Anyways, I cleaned my head with some, um, cleaned my forehead with alcohol and also used the Bold Hold Skin Protectant on my skin. And then I went in with the Bold Hold Active Glue and I did this three times, allowed it to dry clear and then installed the wig. So three times of this layer, allow it to dry clear, making sure that it is well flat and spread out. Almost like you're putting butter on bread, making sure that it is smooth. You know, make it, making sure that the glue goes on smooth and flat, pretty much. And I did that and waited until it was dried, did it two more times, and then went in and installed the wig.
So for the baby hairs, I didn't have like a specific way in which I was going to do the baby hair. I just knew that I wanted it, I wanted to do the abstract baby hair, so the curls, the swoops and all that mixed in. I was pretty much mimicking what I would do on my natural hair if I'm supposed to do my baby hairs. Um, so yes. Uh, for the amount of baby hairs that I took out, I didn't take out a lot. Because I didn't, because I was going to do the abstract baby hairs, it's already been, you know, like it's abstract, so it's extra. And then I to to put like um a lot of baby hairs there, like it just wouldn't look cute. So I took out a minimal amount of baby hairs. Um, went in with my mousse and my got to be gel. So I used both the mousse and the and the got to be gel, just because with the abstract baby hair, edge control or like a gel pretty much does the trick um you could use the most but the you the most will not get it as flat or, or as quickly as possible and keep it in the position that you want it to be in so you will definitely have to use some sort of gel to kind of make it stay in the position so when you're tying down baby hairs it actually stays in the position that you want it so yeah i use both the most and my got to be gel also, I didn't do any type of um, parting in this hair because I wanted it to be in the loose um, curl that it had, the natural state that it was in. didn't want to do anything too extra to it, so I just did a flip over with, you know, obviously the abstract baby hair is. So yeah, I won't be doing anything extra that you guys need me to explain. It's pretty much in the video already, so I am just going to let you guys watch the rest of the video until... I'm at the end, period. <laughs>
this is the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you again slay queen here for sending me this wig like i said i love this wig the lace was everything listen i am never turning back to medium brown lace i don't care transparent or hd all the way um but yes thank you slay queen here for sending me this wig i love it love 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 it um thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified down below and leave all your comments down below let me know what you guys think let me know just let me know okay thank you and i will see you guys in my next one